Have you ever wondered what the National Medical Commission is and why it holds such importance? Well, let's dive right into it. The National Medical Commission, also known as the NMC, was constituted by the National Medical Commission Act of 2019. This act came into force on the 25th of September, 2020, marking a new era for the Indian medical fraternity. The NMC replaced the erstwhile Medical Council of India, bringing with it a fresh perspective and updated regulations. Its role is manifold, from regulating medical education to monitoring medical professionals in the country. This powerful body has its headquarters nestled in the heart of India, in New Delhi. From granting recognition of medical qualifications to accrediting medical schools and registering medical practitioners, the NMC is deeply involved in shaping the medical landscape of India. The NMC plays a vital role in ensuring high standards and quality in medical education across the country. The National Medical Commission has a wide range of functions to ensure the quality and standards of medical education and practice in India. At the core of its responsibilities is the task to lay down policies that maintain high quality and high standards in medical education. This involves making necessary regulations and overseeing their implementation in medical institutions across the country. The NMC also plays a pivotal role in regulating medical institutions, medical research, and medical professionals. It ensures that these institutions and professionals adhere to the regulations and standards set by the NMC. In essence, it acts as a watchdog, maintaining the integrity of the medical profession in India. One of the key functions of the NMC is to assess the requirements in healthcare, including human resources for health and healthcare infrastructure. This could involve identifying areas where there is a shortage of medical professionals or where healthcare infrastructure is lacking. Based on this assessment, the NMC can then formulate policies and strategies to address these issues. The NMC also has a responsibility to ensure that state medical councils comply with the guidelines it sets. This can involve monitoring their activities, conducting audits, and taking corrective action if necessary. This function is crucial in ensuring that the standards set by the NMC are adhered to at all state levels. Another important function of the NMC is to exercise appellate jurisdiction with respect to the decisions of the autonomous boards. This means that it has the power to review and overturn decisions made by these boards if they are found to be in violation of the regulations set by the NMC. The NMC also has the authority to frame guidelines for determining fees and other charges in respect of 50% of seats in private medical institutions and deemed to be universities. This function is crucial in ensuring that medical education is accessible and affordable for all. In conclusion, the NMC's functions are crucial in maintaining the integrity and quality of medical education and practice in India from setting policies and regulations to monitoring compliance and exercising appellate jurisdiction, the NMC plays a pivotal role in shaping the landscape of medical education and practice in the country. The National Medical Commission is made up of a diverse group of individuals who bring their expertise to the table. The commission is composed of 33 members, each playing a vital role in shaping the medical landscape in India. This includes the chairperson, a position reserved for medical professionals only, 10 ex officio members, and 22 part-time members. This mix of full-time and part-time members ensures a steady influx of fresh ideas and perspectives, helping to keep the commission dynamic and responsive to the ever-changing medical field. Now, let's turn our attention to the Medical Advisory Council. This council is a critical platform where states or union territories can express their views and concerns. By advising the National Medical Commission, it plays a pivotal role in shaping policies and maintaining high standards in medical education. It's like a bridge that connects the Commission to the wider medical community, fostering a spirit of collaboration and mutual understanding. The unique composition of the National Medical Commission is a testament to the diversity of the medical sector. It represents a wide array of professionals, from seasoned veterans to fresh-faced newcomers, all working together to shape and guide the medical landscape of the country. The diverse composition of the NMC ensures that a wide range of perspectives and expertise are brought to the table. The National Medical Commission oversees four autonomous boards, each playing a unique role. These boards are the lifeblood of the Commission, 
ensuring that the vast spectrum of medical education and practice in India is adequately overseen and regulated. Firstly, we have the Undergraduate Medical Education Board. This board is responsible for maintaining standards in undergraduate medical education. It sets the curriculum, monitors the quality of education and ensures that our future doctors are well prepared to serve the nation. Next up is the Postgraduate Medical Education Board. As the name suggests, this board takes over where the undergraduate board leaves off. It oversees the standards and quality of postgraduate medical education. This board ensures that medical specialists are trained to the highest standards, ready to deliver expert care to patients. The third autonomous board is the Medical Assessment and Rating Board. This board plays a crucial role in assessing and rating medical institutions. It's their job to ensure that the institutions providing medical education meet the required standards. Their assessments guide students in choosing the right institution for their medical education. Last but certainly not least, we have the Ethics and Medical Registration Board. This board is tasked with maintaining the highest ethical standards in the practice of medicine. It registers medical practitioners and monitors their adherence to professional ethics. It also addresses any ethical issues or complaints that may arise in the practice of medicine. Each of these boards brings a unique perspective and focus to the overall mission of the National Medical Commission. They work in tandem, ensuring that from the time a student enters medical school to the time they become practicing doctors, they are well trained, ethically guided, and ready to provide the best possible care to their patients. These autonomous boards play a significant role in ensuring that the NMC can effectively carry out its functions. Now that we understand what the National Medical Commission is and how it works, let's reflect on its significance. The NMC, with its 33 members, functions and four autonomous boards, is the regulatory body for medical education and practice in India. It emphasizes high quality and standards in medical education, regulates medical institutions and assesses healthcare requirements. Moreover, it upholds professional ethics in the medical profession. The National Medical Commission, through its functions and autonomous boards, plays an indispensable role in shaping the future of medical education and practice in India.